Imperatives in French, if I'm not misguided, say imperativement. Something that you really must do. That is sometimes not really an option. That's an imperative. Okay, it's an order. It's a command. It's something that you need to do. Que tu dois absolument le faire. C'est un ordre. Imperativement, tu dois le faire. For example, tu dois impérativement aller à l'école. You must go to school this morning. Okay, it's something that you have no option. Um, so you need to do it. You need to go to school. Those are imperatives. They give more of a, a, a forcely tone, okay, imperatives. And so, so you use them, like I said, for command. You're commanding that they do something. You're giving an order that something should be done. You're telling them uh, with unnecessary accent them to go and do whatever it is that they need to do. So you're commanding them. And then sometimes that's so where you maybe give you a suggestion. As imperative, you might give me a suggestion. For example, I think it would be better, or I think, or you know, why don't you go um, to the hospital this morning? Because you're not feeling well. Why don't you take the day off? That you're suggesting, but in a way that um, the person should actually do it. Okay, that's a suggestion. And then, of course, you might be giving instructions. You know, um, take the day off. That's an instruction. Okay, um, I want to see your copies by the end of the day. It's an instruction. It's a command, it's an order, it's an instruction that you're giving, it's an order that you're giving, okay? And so that's what it's used for. And then you said that it begins with the base form of the main verb. It always begins with the base form. It would begin always with the base form. This is an example. I put your ichi, the base form. The you is not there, like you personally, you talking. Oftentimes, you don't, you don't use it with imperatives. Like you talking, the speaker, the narrator, um, you know, you're not talking, I, you know. So you're just going directly to the person. You're just giving the order directly. It's an imperative. You'll not say, I'm telling you to. No, you just tell the person, you just give direct orders. Take your feet off the table. Go get the bus. Go get the books. So you're not saying, I am telling you to go get the books. No, you just go straight to it. Straight to whatever you want to give. Straight to the message and you give it directly. Okay, so that's the base form of it. Okay, and so I have some examples here like, get off the bus. Like, sometimes I do my if you put a exclamation, get off the bus. It's an order, it's an instruction. I'm not asking you, but I'm telling you to get off the bus. Okay, um, go wash your hands. So it simply means, go wash your hands. Okay, cross the street, traverse. To cross, c'est traverser. So, cross the street. Cross, c'est traverser, ou en même temps aussi la croix, pour les chrétiens. So, but, cross the street, traverse. Okay, those are orders that you give. Those are imperatives. Take note that the, it's, it's not, the you is not there. So, it's just the base form of it. So, if they gave you a sentence, for example, uh, I, um, for example, you can say, um, I'm telling you to go brush your teeth. So what would the base form? Go brush your teeth. Simple. Go brush your teeth. It's an imperative sentence. It's an order, it's an instruction. And so you have that. But then we have what they call the polite command or the polite imperative. Polite is simple. It's because you're using, either you're using the please, you're using the please either before the sentence or after the sentence or après. Polite, politesse, call it polite imperatives or polite commands. For example, please take your feet off the table, s'il te plaît. Descends tes pieds sur de la table. Please go brush your teeth, s'il te plaît. Va te brosser les dents. Brush your teeth, please. Go brush your teeth, please. C'est après, c'est à la fin. Va te brosser les dents, s'il te plaît. But please go brush your teeth. Please is in the beginning, it's before the, the base form. S'il te plaît, va te brosser les dents. So the please, the polite command or the polite imperative, um, it's just simply using please. Or the politesse, polite word. Either before the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So you're saying it, but you're being polite about it. Okay? And then we have the negative form of it. The negative form is simply, you know, using do not. 
And the negative form could either be a contract, you know, contracted. It can be contracted. You know, for example, um, do not shout in class. Ne crie pas en classe. This is not the contracted form. This is a regular form. This is just a negative form. Do not shout in class. But the contracted form would be don't shout in class. The O is absent. Okay? You go to the park and they'll tell you do not feed the animals. Contracted form would be don't feed the animals. It's an order. It's almost like a must that you need to do. So it's an imperative. So look at this one. Get off the bus. What would be um, the negative form of this one? Do not get off the bus. Um, go wash your hands, a negative form. Do not or don't wash your hands. Or don't wash your hands. Cross the street. Don't cross the street. Maybe because the light is green and cars are passing, don't cross the street. So those are negative forms, okay? And so that's an imperative. Think of it as something that is a must, something that it's recommended that you actually do it. You don't, something that you may not actually have a choice, you know, um, and that, you know, it, it uses it for a command or an instruction. And then, like I said, it has no base form. Take note, as no base form. There's no you, like you talking, the first person, like I, it's not there. You just go straight to the form, straight to the sentence, and you make up your sentence, okay? I hope that that helps as far as imperative is concerned. I'll be giving out some examples, and if you have any more questions, please let me know. Thank you.